Attention in the air here. It's the ingredients. And it's our main feature today on ET. Join us soon. <laughs> Welcome you all to Old Trafford for the matchup today between Tinted and So hard to beat, and they've got a great break again going into this match against Arsenal. The capacity to upset them but have had some difficult time recently as well. Alan. Well, yeah, I mean, it brings back some bad memories. I think of that 8 2 demolition. Some back for Arsenal. I'll be hoping there's nothing like that going on out there, and I don't think it will be. I think a club. Andreas Herrera. Well, I don't know how the home going to cope with this. Home advantage, yes, but when you look at the number of goals that they succeeded, the manager it has been working on his defence. If it any difference out here, Manchester United trying to impress us a bit more today than they did in the last game when they lost away against Southampton. Oh, 3-0, Martin. What the day is a tool that... Uh, I think defensively they can be better. I think they will get a draw. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea is the goal. Paul Pogba plays with Ander Herrera in the field. Rob Blaku is the striker today.
Hi there, everyone. Old Trafford is the venue for our match today. Welcome to you all from Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler. And your Manchester United. Today's game, Manchester United up against Fulham. Here is how Manchester United. Number one, Gavin Heyer. Number 12. It really is shaping a fantastic season. So much competition, particularly at the top. Well, we haven't got to the halfway mark yet, but I do hope it continues in this fashion. So close. Number nine, Romelu, and number 11, Anthony Martial. Manchester United have been really working at them to try and not let that hope protect them at first. Day. That loss against Arsenal. Three down, and uh, they were comfortable losers in the end. So I do think they can bounce back, get a draw here. This is then the Manchester United lineup. Well, three at the back. That's the first thing. Is the, what about the rest of the team? Well, it looks to be a 3-3. Three, three. You certainly don't see it that often. And when it works, it can catch the opposition off guard, really. It can be a really awkward shape to come with. Thank now we can check on the Fulham line. 4-3. They've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think the key is that flanks... It's quite a complicated job, actually, because they've got to come inside, support 